Tune it. Nitro. Let's just, just tune, tune it. it. Just make it faster. Tune it? Yeah. I think we said ECU and clutch tune it. What do you think? That sounds good. All right. You know what be good on us too? Maybe right. a blow up belt. <laughs> we also have, look at this. Look at that. What is it? That's a blow up valve. It's a nice one. I gotta get one of these. You know They're how long so he, nice. You know how long he's been wanting one? Hello? Uh, I don't. Okay, so we got Danny's new car here. <laughs> or Travis's car. And what's going on is, so we already did, we already did a zero to 60. Right? Yep. Video. Uh, this is installing the blow up valve. But we discovered, we're talking to Travis, we're like, hey, uh, he said, he actually said, he said to me, where's my air cleaner? He's got a thousand miles on his car. <laughs> so we found the air cleaner because I know where it's at because I have a razor. It's right there. I have a razor now. Different than this one. It's, the camera's really not different than this one. But anyway, uh, so we're gonna take, I'm curious to see what, how this goes. Let's pull that thing out. I can't wait. And while we're back here, we're gonna throw a ball valve in it. This thing is so nice. I don't think Travis has even seen it, but it's a, a blow up valve from Evolution Power Sports. Look at that thing. That is a piece of work. That's nice. Check it out. Yeah. This way, right? It comes with uh, hardware. It so this is your filter. For the blow off valve. It looks so cool. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I gotta blow mine off. <laughs> Couldn't look as bad as that here. <laughs> so, uh, and then we have a hose. We have some zip ties. And we have this little block off part. So, I don't know if you can get in here, Danny, but we gotta get the other one off. We can't get to this thing. Best way to get to it. Up in here. Too bad it's not like the new razor where you just remove the whole freaking compartment. So I'm not sure why it comes with this new hose. I'm we'll have to look this up. Does anyone know? Just in case the old one's bad? Alright, somebody wanna uh, no, no, they're all... to grab me some wire cutters out of that top uh, bottom box top drawer. So what we're gonna do is see if we can get this hose off. This hose off of this guy. Oh man, it's in there. Yeah, I can't see it. What you're doing from this angle? No. No. Cut the camera. All right, so we got this vacuum hose off. I'm not sure why they give you a new one. Let's pop it apart and look at it real quick. Maybe. It goes on the outside part of the blow up valve, doesn't it? The little port? Yeah, I just don't know why they give you a new one. I don't know why. We're gonna find Stop out why though. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get this, we gotta somehow get to this clamp in here, which is gonna be a pain. So we might have to get, yeah, we might have to get from the side of the car. Wanna see if we can get it down there? What do you need me to cut off? We need this clamp off right here. Right here where my finger is. Is it metal? Yeah, it's a pinch clamp. You, you want me to cut it off with these wheels? Unless you can lick it off. It's up to you. Got it. Looks like it. Nice. Nice. All right, now we gotta see if we can work this. Yeah. Now we gotta get that one out of here. I don't know how well that one comes out. I guess this. I guess we gotta take this loose as well.
Uh, how about a flat blade screwdriver? Flat head? All right. This is a tight spot. So, okay, we got that guy off. We got that guy off. Okay. So yeah, after some food, it all makes sense now. This, well, if Alec points out this way, this hose probably needs to be shortened a little bit, and it comes back around, and we'll show you in a minute. But I think what we should do first while we have the blob valve out, out is put this on, right? Yeah. Take a good look. Last time you're going to see it. You'll hear it a lot. Just not see it. Does it go like that? Does it go all the way? Just like that. All the way. Yeah. Mine wasn't all the way. No, we left it in the ribs right here. You said pull it all the way down and then cinch it. All right, so let's do this. What's it look like? Somebody look at this and tell me. Maybe read it. There's those fancy words, paper words. In the meantime, while Travis figures that out, I'm gonna climb up in here. This is my favorite thing to do. And I'm going to pull this diverter down the rest of the way out. Cut it. <clears throat> Here. Ouch! Grab this camera and get the hell out of my way. Yeah, I need to do this. So I think Karen's acting like he can't do it, so they make me do it. I'm smarter than I look. All right, so we're sending in Danny to the rescue. He does this stuff for a living, I don't. Can you need a flashlight, Chuck? Yes. Got the clamp off. He did? Yeah, I threw it over on the ground. Took long enough. He's a sorry, you know. <laughs> First stand job. Okay, so you got the clamp off. We're gonna pull that out and that down. We'll get this. Oh, there's the crappy old made in German. What that for? Germany. This. <laughs> made in Germany. Diverter valve. So. Does it go all the way down like that, you think? No, honestly, I have mine. Want me to put mine in? I think you're right. And are, are you supposed to put a clamp, uh, zip tie around it? And I believe Probably. we had a cable tie around it. Mine was like, we, you put mine like that, so I trusted you knew what you're doing. I probably read the instructions. So, I mean, it may not be like that, because Double check those instructions. I think it goes all the way over. I think it goes all the way over? Double check the well, instructions. Well, it's your car. Right it didn't say. It's your car. It does. There's another page. <laughs> what? <laughs> it does say. I read it, I just don't remember what it said. Exactly. Well, not on the one you handed me. Idiot. Maybe it was on the one I didn't hand you. Who knows? So. The short, yeah, short angle. But I think we're gonna end up cutting it, so I wouldn't clamp it yet. Up to you. Well, how short do you wanna go? Well, think about it. It's gonna plug in there, and then that piece of hose is gonna go that way. How far do you really want it going up here, right? Whoa, camera. Sorry about that. I bumped the crap out of the camera. Right? Let's zoom in. I'm just gonna zoom. So we're gonna go right here, basically, right? Yeah. So you don't need that hose sticking out clear into the fender well. All right? Um, probably go this much. Not say. And then we then we can trim this if we yeah, have to. Exactly. Five, four, three, two, one. Stratus is not mine. Oops. It's not mine, so I don't have to worry about it. What happened? Yeah, it don't say. It doesn't say to go all the way or not. Okay. Just says put it on. Yeah, and secure it. Says put a cable secure tie. Secure it with the cable tie. Okay. Now how are we supposed to clamp these? All right, squeeze them. Hold on, I think I have the actual right. I think I have the actual tool. How do you do that? <laughs> I bought it on the Amazon. <laughs> like I said, package every day lately. <laughs> okay, I need to go work back in the office. Yeah, you do. Man, look at that. I missed it. Son of a motherless truck. You missed it? Well, you, you can catch it on the next one.
Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Good thing Danny stepped in. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Rob? It's coming along mm -hmm. slowly. I'm, I'm, damn, I think There's we could, skirt. between that air filter. This also came out of the filter. Fell yes. out of fell out of the filter. Fell out on its own, voluntarily just jumped right out of the filter. Because this said it's too dirty in there. We're gonna get out. Between that air filter and a tune and a clutch tune, we might get close to some floors. No low fives. Here at 608. I I I'm saying there's a couple of tints in that air filter. Oh alone. yeah, definitely. That was Clean your air filter. Clean your air right. filter. It is clean. <laughs> now, buy a new one. I'm gonna. I should put this on before. But it's kind of why I mentioned it, but you know. Why didn't you remind me? Nobody remind me. Nobody. Nobody has my back here. So I'll uh, catch you on video. I'll play it back for you if you want to hear me say, "Does the cable tie go?" I'm inside? all over your back. <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs> wow. Dang. That was on there, huh? Yeah, it was. Where did you sit there? What's going on now? <laughs> we Is that a clamp? <laughs> <laughs> Who are we going to put that clamp? In your... On this... Uh, the, the car here. Um, How much room do you want, Trevor? You want to go right here? Want to go under okay. the cables? Put it, connect it back through that hole, the factory hole. It doesn't go back that way. Sure it does. Right through the hole, right there. Ouch. Thank you. Why? Because that's where it goes. Idiot. All you hear now is you boss, boss, boss. Right? It's because I got the camera. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. You might want to put that clamp on before you do that. What clamp? It's got clamp that's right here? Yeah, it's a good thing you did that. Ready? Ready. All right, now, it's still ready? Do it. Make sure we get right where we need to. And yeah, it's so satisfying, drink. right? Oh, yeah. Nice. Now, I have seen somewhere where it says we can trim the hose back if we're ever going to go back to stock. But says, why would you go back to stock? Uh, actually said you should already put that in, but don't worry about that so much. Hmm? Huh? You should have put that in before you got the rod valve in the way. Does it have to go in order? It doesn't have to. It depends on how hard you want it to be. It goes in this one. This hose, don't it? Let's take a look. Here, you can do that out there, can't you? I got a camera in my hand. Travis? I got the other camera. <laughs> Actually, it pulls clear out here. Boom, look at that. Yep. Here. So you can either trim it down or you can leave, leave it to like this. That's a pretty nice little piece of chingus. Then we probably want to zip tie this thing up in place yeah. so it doesn't flip flop all over about the place. You loosen that up a little more. Don't stab me. Yeah, it won't hurt ah! me. It's all right, it won't hurt me. Exactly, can't see it from my house. Good? Here, I'll zip tie that up there. So don't flop around all about the place. All right, we're gonna come back. About to uh, hear the noise. Different. This is what. So Travis is really into. Oh, look, he bought this car from Costco. 
Any missing bolts? Yeah, put his together, right. Though. All right, all right. So anyway, Travis is really into hearing that blow up out, which I think everybody who buys one is really, if they're honest. Yes. It's pretty cool. It's kind of cool sounding. It's kind of different. So I liked it so much on my sand roll, I have two. All right, so let's do this thing. Oh, wait, is it? Let's take a look. It's right there. How, how well can we see it? Let's see, let's get a good shot. Right there. Okay, go ahead. Put it in drive, not reverse. I don't want to get ran over. It's just not going to get as much. <sighs> Somewhere we have an air check. to come back for the tune part, huh? Oh, yes. We're going to do an ECU tune and a clutch, and a clutch tune. tune. I don't know which one first. Probably ECU tune. Nice. Look like it came with a new toy. You like it? Yes. Here we go on. All right. Let's do this. So that's what uh, Evolution Power Sports blow valve sounds like. And that's what it looks like when the Three Stooges install it. So thanks for watching, subscribing, all that good stuff. Catch you on the next one.